You know, I do want to look into that new possible wearable feature for Google and be interested, but the question is, do you? As yes, we have some new leaks for the Google Pixel Watch that make it seem like we're getting close to its launch. Speaking of watches, we have some new information on next year's Apple Watch lineup, and it looks pretty enticing. And it seems that Sony is finally waking up and smelling the coffee about the single reason Xbox gives PS5 a run for its money. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, for a Monday treat, guess who was crazy enough to sign up for a marathon? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with uh, Google and the rocky season that they're going through when it comes to Pixel. And now it looks like repairs are a problem as well. We have a new report from The Verge which claims that uh, the personal information including internet accounts, data, photos, and email of a user's Pixel 5a were compromised when she sent her phone in for repair through Google's mail-in repair service. The report says that this is at least the second report they've seen in the past few Few weeks with the other person claiming their phone got hacked when they sent it in. When it comes to this case, she sent her broken phone back in October, and even though she was charged for the repair, she never received the device after it happened and her pixel disappeared. Now, days later, someone tried to break into her phone to remove the two factor authentication checks, and she got the typical emails. She unsuccessfully tried to wipe the phone through Google's Android Device Manager, and her information was was then compromised. Google has confirmed that they're looking into this case, but uh, with little information. And uh, to be fair, Google's recommendations say that you should back up and wipe your phone before you send it in for repair. Now, the question is what happens if your phone gets bricked, for example? So yeah, we'll keep you posted on any updates from Google, but I wouldn't send my phone in for repair until we get a response. But all right, let's shift gears onto gaming for change. Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass has been a success for the company, ranking up over 18 million users since its release, with me being one of them. And it's also the primary reason why I chose the Xbox Series X. And well, new reports mention that Sony wants to follow up on that success. According to Bloomberg, Sony is close to releasing their competitor to Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass. The service is reportedly codenamed Spartacus, and it'll offer a catalog of modern and classic games games for a monthly fee. It is expected to arrive in the spring of 2022, and Sony is looking to merge PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus once they deliver the service, which makes a ton of sense. Oh, and if you're into cloud gaming, people familiar with the matter also said that Sony is putting resources into expanding their effort into cloud gaming. But back to Spartacus, it'll have uh, multiple tiers, with the base tier mirroring what you currently get with PlayStation Plus, which only means a few free games every month. The mid-tier would give users access to a substantial amount of PS4 games and PS5 games in the future, with the highest tier having extended game demos, online streaming, and legacy games. We know that Sony has been outselling Microsoft for years when it comes to consoles, but let's see how they compete with the subscription because Game Pass is honestly pretty cool. Oh, and the second reason I didn't get a PS5 is because I still can't buy one. Now let's move on to wearables for the rest of the show, starting with Apple. This year's Apple Watch leaks were hit or miss for tipsters as we were expecting a complete redesign to match the iPhone, but all we got was a rounder watch instead, sort of. Now we have a new report from Mark Gurman that tells us what to expect for 2022. In his latest newsletter, Gurman says that Apple plans to release the Apple Watch Series 8 and an update to the Apple Watch SE and more. Starting with the SE, we can expect that same design that we get with the Apple Watch Series 6, and apparently it also means its features, but that's kind of confusing because that would mean you would get the ECG always on display and blood oxygen monitor, though I wouldn't hold my breath because that would be dramatically close to whatever the Series 8 will bring. German claims that Apple also is planning an entirely different watch that will be considered a rugged version of the regular variant that may feature a case that is more resistant to scratches, dents, falls, and more. Something that I find interesting here is that German didn't really provide any details for the actual Series 8 watch, but other analysts claim that we can expect for it to come in two sizes as usual, 
but it will bring new features that might include blood glucose and pressure measurements. No word yet on the flat design or if it will happen, but it's pretty early for us to confirm designs and hey, Apple has an extra year to figure that one out. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Google and the upcoming Pixel Watch. As leaks seem to be heating up in typical Google fashion, no full reviews just yet, but you know they're coming. If you remember, we got our first look back in April with some renders from John Prosser, and last week a new Business Insider report uh, brought it back to the spotlight. After that report, Prosser posted a new video with some fresh leaks. First off, we got new pictures that are allegedly official marketing images from Google and not 3D CAD renders that we got before. From these, we can see that it'll be called the Pixel Watch, and if you think about it, the three different pictures match the Pixel 6's color variants, kind of hinting that we should get them before we get new pixels. He claims that uh, the low quality images are to protect the source with the renders he shared earlier this year being very close to what the watch will actually look like. In case you missed it, we're expecting a round bezel-less display with a crown on the right side. Of course, with this being a Google Watch, it'll reportedly bring features like quick Google Maps navigation and voice call support. Finally, Prosser mentions that this watch is not in danger of being canceled, and we're getting closer and closer to an official launch, though he didn't mention a date. We're not sure how Google plans to integrate Fitbit into the equation, but uh, we do expect something considering they haven't really done anything major since the acquisition happened. So yeah, Business Insider's claim uh, says that spring 2022 might be the date, but in today's question, let us know, I mean, what would you want from a Pixel watch to consider? one. Because in my case, anything less than everything that the Apple Watch can already do pretty well would be a complete waste of money and time for consumers. Uh, Apple Watch Series 3 pretty much got it right, and we've seen Google fumble with Wear OS and Android Wear and so many different variations of this for so long that it's finally time for the company to either figure it out or just leave the market. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media, so our extended coverage happens on Instagram, and follow me on my personal handles to see me do crazy things for 2022. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.